What's up guys, and Penthes here, and welcome back to another FIFA 20 video. EA have released a bumper amount of content, um, but the content in general is a bit weird, uh, actually. Um, so yesterday they released Team of the Tournament Morelos. Uh, obviously he scored five goals in the group stage in what was, according to Rangers fans, the group of death. Uh, very, very easy to complete. You can complete this, uh, this section by accident. And then it doesn't take long to get these two goals done. You just score three goals in max chemistry by getting assists at the same time. And you, you've done it all, right? You don't need to win or anything. So you can do it in just one game. No problem at all. Um, I took issue with this card. And people seem to think it's because I didn't think he deserved a card, which wasn't true. Happy for him to have a card. The more diversity in his game, the better. The problem is the actual card itself. It's just not very good. Um, I, and, and this is something that's, I know Rangers fans will still love this card. Some Colombians or SPFL fans will still love this card. Card collectors will still love this card. But in terms of just making him usable for the majority of people that play this game, why not just make him an 86 rated card or an 88 rated card? You know, boost his pace up to 90, he's shooting up to like 85 or 86. He's dribbling to the mid 80s and his physical up to 90. All of a sudden, you're looking at a card that is very much able to fit into people's team for fun you know I, you guys know i've been very diverse with my squads this year been using that holt card the ed and jeco card i've got politano tonali sbc cards like, i'm very much for these obscure cards that nobody really uses this one is just not one that you're you, like it's going to cost you games he's got really really terrible stats in really key areas um so I just, I, I'm not opposed to the actual card itself. I'm just opposed to the rating and the values of the card. You know, we're heading towards Futmus. It's going to be team of the year in four weeks time. This, this just isn't good enough card. I want, I want something more. Um, they've also released UCL group stages, which I quite like. Uh, midweek battle. So score using UCL players from La Liga and UCL players from Syria. Uh, and squad battles for a small election players pack. Score using UCL players in three separate rivals matches for a two rare goal players pack and assist two goals using UCL players in rivals. So no win condition. Um, and you get a prime goal players pack for the lot, premium goal pack, two red goal players pack, and a small election players pack. So I like that as well. Um, very nice indeed. And then obviously we have Tagliafico, who's been there for a few days. Sadly, no new milestones um, coming in. Uh, but in terms of the rest of the content, it's good and it's bad and it's weird and it's everything. So we have total football for a UCL three player pack. Now the problem I find with these packs is that it's one rare. So if you get a 79 rated rare, you're screwed, right? Tough. Uh, it needs an 80 chemistry exactly gold team. So you're trading in 11 golds for three UCL cards, two of which will be common and low rated. So you're basically trading in a team full of golds for a chance of one thing. Um, now we need for this four clubs, five leagues maximum, one club maximum three exactly gold eight chemistry which is really really easy uh let's head on over to the Liga nos and just uh or even the argentinian league will do as well um we'll just be able to get it all done do i have no oh, hold on that's not the argentinian league there we go um yeah so we'll pop him in uh i'm sure i haven't got any right wing backs and stuff but uh we'll pop all of these guys in uh he can go in and then We'll pop in the uh, the centre back and centre back and another centre back. Of course, you know clubs. We've got to be paying a little bit of attention to clubs, but also not really at the same time. We should be good to not have to worry about the clubs too much. And then the strikers. Uh, we'll pop in him and we'll pop in him and let's just pop Zarate on the bench to throw in. So player quality exactly gold. One club maximum three. See, I like for me th this just th this just isn't an SBC that's worth it. As I say, the UCL three players pack isn't so great. Um, but I know some people will get super lucky with it. And, and you know, if you are that person, brilliant. Marquee matchups is obviously from last Thursday. Haven't done that here yet. Uh, we've then got UA for Marquee moments. This is for a two UCL common players pack. Now, you only need to put in one gold, one rare, and then one player from La Liga or Turkish League. So if you just go to, you can cut, like cover all of those with one fail swoop, right? You just go to La Liga. Um, they have plenty of uh, golds and rares and all sorts, uh, all sorts of players. Um, and then you can link it up the top there. So we'll pop in Vasquez there. So that's gold and rare done. Um, you only need 65 chemistry. And then after that, you could just put in bronzes for the rest. Um, so if you've got a lot of bronzes, hopefully I've, I've been opening some bronze packs on this account. Yeah, so here we go. So we're able to now just fill in this 
club with bronzes. We don't even need high chemistry. Uh, so I will rotate the players as and where I need to. Uh, but we should be absolutely fine, really, just by popping in uh, like so. Um, so let's go and get our chemistry up. That's already 61. Just swapping those around uh, and swapping those around. No, let's pop those two. Hold on. Nope. Cool. EA, that's brilliant. Love that. Menu lag in... Um, <laughs> Menu lag in SBCs, love it. Right, so there you go, nice and easy. Nine bronzes, one gold that's rare and from La Liga or the Turkish League, and you get yourself a two UCL common player pack, which again, just makes me feel like, what's the point? The UCL common players are dead. And I know why EA are doing it, because they've got uh, season objectives that require you to do things with UCL cards, but the UCL cards are so cheap, I don't understand why. We've then got Weldy, so another daily SBC, uh, Worldy, same nation, max four, clubs minimum three, one club maximum three, exactly gold, 75 chemistry, and common or rare UCL players is a minimum of two. So again, you can use the ones that you have right there. Again, I don't really think it's necessary. Um, we're going to go ahead and have a look at our, we're going to go for Liga Nos this time. Uh, or, yeah, we can go for the, the Eredivisie. Um, let's see, I've, I should have some blues in here. All right, there's Onana. I don't really want to use him as, as far as a blue goes. Hopefully, we'll have some other blues uh, hiding around around here somewhere. There you go. Martinez and Alvarez can go in. And that is uh, that section taken care of. Haps can go in. Somebody's going to message me and be like, Haps was like 7K, by the way. Um, he can go in there. He can go in there. Let's have a look at our cams. Uh, Labiad can go in. He used to have an insane card, Labiad, in one of the old FIFAs. And then our strikers, Mitroglu and Jorgensen. And I don't think I've... Okay, so we've got... We've got four people from one club. Who is it? Is it PSV? Ajax? It is Ajax. We've got four players from Ajax. So let's get rid of Labiad um, and go and get ourselves a different cam uh, Pereiro in there. Boom. So that's that one done for a premium gold players pack. Very nice indeed. Nice and easy. That's actually a good SBC. Premium gold players pack for that. We've then got a new player card, uh, Munir. It's cheap, right? Uh, team of the tournament card is cheap. Um, it's only an 83 rated squad with one La Liga player and a 70 rated team. Uh, let's build the squad and then I'll get into the card itself. And the issue for me with the card is, just before we even really get into anything, the issue with the card is, it's just terrible. Uh, you know, it, it's just, it is a card we have, it, much like that Morello's card, it's just a card we have so many of already. I, I kind of don't see the point. Um, we're going to have to throw a big card in here. Surprising I don't have more. I thought I had some more available uh, than what we've got going on here. Maybe we've got a big CDM I can throw in. No, let's pop the 83s in. Uh, big right mid for 85 right mid. No, we've got 84 Dembele. Do I want to use 84 Dembele? I sure do. Why not? Uh, right, De Jong. I definitely don't want to use De Jong. We'll pop him in. I'm To get an 83 rated squad, I'm going to have to throw something big in here. Um, might have to put just a, a big random... Uh, let's just get any old any old goalkeeper that's going to give me uh, give me the rating that I need here. Um, what do we got? Oblak, obviously not. Ter Stegen as well, not. Allison, not. De Gea, not. All right, any other old goalkeeper? Edison, does he work? He does, right? So an 88 is good. Let me see about those 87s. Oh, that's still an 88. What do we got for an 87? 87 is good. Let's see about those old 86s. 86 is still good as well. How about an 85? We've got an 85 laying around that can fit the, the mold. I don't think an 85 is going to be enough. Wow, an 85 is enough. That's very surprising. And then an 84 is definitely not going to be enough. Let's have a look though. An 84 is still enough. That's crazy because I've got 83s and 82s. We'll pop Kepper in, I think. Uh, 83. Yeah, 83 is not enough. That's actually not so bad. Let's put Hamshik in. He, he doesn't really mean anything to anyone. So there you go. Easily done, nice and cheap, no informs required, no real terrible stipulations required, nice and easy to get accomplished. As I say, the problem is pretty much the card itself. Um, is he going to walk out? Oh, he does. That's pretty interesting. A few of the SBC cards recently haven't walked out. Um, but uh, yeah, let's let's go and like somebody's actually just tweeted me like one of the one of the concerns. Like you, you've got so many players already that are this good or better. High-low work rates is really nice. I like that. Three-star weak foot isn't good enough. Uh, you know, you need four-star weak foot or better. You need four-star skill moves or better. Actually, I think up front, specifically for wingers, three-star skill moves can be enough because you could do the Ronaldo chop and the lateral heel to heel flick with three-star skill moves. You could do ball rolls, roulettes, and step-overs with three-star skill moves. But the weak foot, 
The weak foot is always a bit of an issue. Um, you know, so we've got a, a three-star weak foot, but really, really good work rates uh, and nice skill moves as well. When you look at the in-game stats, it's just such an average card. Um, we'll go on Futbin and have a look at what we can do with him. Uh, Munir. Let's have a look what uh, let's have a look at the upgrade as well. It'll be interesting to see like how much they upgraded him. So they've given him three pace, six shooting, six passing, three physical, three defending, and three dribbling. Uh, they've obviously position changed him. Now the issue with this card is you're going to need some pace on him. So a hunter, you know, he just he doesn't even crack dark greens almost anywhere. A sniper gets his dribbling good, makes him into the high nineties for for a winger, but not fast enough. Like you pretty much need to boost his pace. I'd say probably an engine is the best chem style for him. Good pace. Do you know what? On second look, look, there, there are a lot of cards like this. A lot of cards. You know, he has relatively low stamina. He's got the three-star weak foot, but he's cheap. It's just an 83-rated squad. Um, his shooting isn't great. His pace and dribbling is nice with the engine, and his passing is okay. But th this, this, card, this card is okay. It's just not outstanding. Uh, and, it, and it takes me back to that Morelos card. Like, I know EA are following this upgrade path that they, they stuck by last year. And for some weird reason, they're sticking by it this year, even though nobody enjoyed it last year. But just boost him to like an 86, you know, make him an 86 rated. Make people be like, OK, I want this card in my team. We're going to have some fun with him. Because again, the only people that are going to really care about this card is either Sevilla fans Spanish fans, La Liga fans, or card collectors. Because at this stage in the game, this really won't be an upgrade to anybody's card in anybody's team anywhere, pretty much. Um, so I don't really understand it. Uh, I, I, I wish that they would just do a bit better by us with the cards. Like, yeah, that's it, really. It's, it's not a bad card. It can be fun. I'm sure you can use it for some objectives and stuff as well. But all in all... Um, I just wish for a bit better for it. And then last but not least, guys, what we've got is UEFA marquee matchups. Now, for the first time ever, they've put four segments in UEFA, mar UEFA marquee matchups. However, they have got two fixtures that don't exist. Uh, Chelsea are not playing Ajax tonight and Dortmund are not playing Inter. Uh, that, that, like, they've just taken those out of nowhere. Um, it's actually uh, Barcelona against Inter tonight and Chelsea are playing... Let me get it up on the, uh, on the page here. Chelsea are playing Lille. Ajax are playing Valencia, uh, Inter are playing Barcelona, and Dortmund are playing Slavia Prague. So I don't quite understand these here. Um, but uh, that's where we're at. You know, that's where we're at. Um, so after that, we've got... What have we got? We've got... What packs are they? Jumbo Premium Gold Pack, Small Rare Gold Players Pack, Rare Election Players Pack, and a Premium Gold Players Pack. So... Uh, quite easy but because there's four what i'm going to do guys i'm going to go and get all of these done and then i'll be back um to just turn them in and open the packs and we'll open all the packs together at the very end with the group reward as well so i will be right back all right guys so here we are one rare election players pack all four segments turned in and completed so overall today um lots of content some of it decent some of it not so decent um but you know eight packs for relatively cheap especially if you guys have already you know got stacked clubs which you should have i would like to hope that you guys have done by now um but yeah the two ucl common player pack generally is a waste don't do this sbc unless you actually need the ucl common players um because that like if you, you should already have them right uh, that, that's all i'll say you should already have the ucl common players to do that other SBC um, that we had to do that required the common players. The UCL three player pack, this one's just a bit hit or miss. I personally don't think it's great value for coins. If you get lucky, brilliant. I haven't got lucky. We haven't even got a board here. So this is gonna be a bit of a uh, bit of a dead set. Yeah, I mean, Herrera, I suppose Arias is okay. I mean, look at that. You like 1K for Herrera, you less than a K for Arias. And the same for Huayim. So what you have to turn in for what you get back, for me personally, just doesn't really interest me. Uh, we then get a rare election players pack, a small rare gold players pack, a premium gold players pack, and a jumbo premium gold pack from the marquee matchups, which we'll do all together at the same time. And then um, a premium gold players pack and a prime... No, wait, that's two premium... Yeah, so a prime gold players pack. I don't, know, I don't, I don't remember what we got from where. But anyway... Some good packs. That's all I'll say. You know, I'm sure some of you guys are going to pack some really, really nice things. We're not going to get a walk out of this. But yeah, ultimately, a um, bit odd that they've got the uh, certain things wrong with regards to the uh, the matchups. 
I don't know how you manage to screw that up. It's quite easy. The fixture list is there on about a thousand different websites, but hey, that's not for me to decide on or judge. Um, that Munir card, it's okay because it's cheap, but you know, like Toby said to me, isn't there just like... 10, 15 other left wings that you can buy that are as good as him for cheaper off the market. Absolutely, there are. And because of that, it kind of makes it a little bit of a little bit of a coin sink. And like I say, I, I just think for me personally, I, I just wish they would give bigger boosts to these cards. Scream cards had massive boosts. League SBC cards had massive boosts. Why not just give low tier cards in December boosts that catch them up to the point where they're good enough to actually fit into people's teams. I'm not asking for them to be like 90 rated or anything like that. And you know, we're not looking for new Neymars or new Messi's here. Obviously that would be nice, but I understand why not. Just just make them big enough to, to the point where people are like, oh, that's pretty sick. Let me get involved on that. Rather than making them to the point where it's like, oh, 20, 25K for that. I don't know if I can be bothered. Uh, you know, that's just my, just my opinion on it. And then obviously the... Um, the team of the tournament, the UCL weekly objective, big fan of that as well. You know, some good packs just for playing the game. I want more of that. I rate that quite a lot. Jesus Christ. Ugh, all six players there were from Premier League. How crazy is that? Um, and then a rare election players pack to end off today's video, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, uh, whether or not you enjoyed the content. We have got a board or a walkout to end things off today. It's not going to be a walkout. It's thick flares. Wouldn't surprise me if it's Pickford or Casillas. That's my, that's my guess. Oh, it was Rajan Anglin. Oh, actually, Teller's in there as well. That's not too bad as far as a pack goes. Uh, we've got some good uh, League SBC Silvers in there as well. Um, but that, guys, is going to be the end of the video for today. So if you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rate, and comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.